A few months ago, I made a video about my favorite app called My Mind. It's an app that you can use to save anything from the web. And personally, I think it's one of the best productivity apps and I still use it every single day. And it's part of my note taking system as I showed in my previous video. But since I published that video, many people told me to check another app called Warding. Some people said it's even better than my mind. I kind of knew about Warding before, but I haven't really tried it properly. So in the last week, I decided to give it a try to see if I actually like it and also to see if it's actually better than my mind. So in this video, I want to give you my honest review of Warding and my mind and comparison between these two. First of all, let's have a look at the most important aspect for this kind of apps, that is, how easy is it to save things from the web and from mobile? Because if you can't save stuff on the internet effortlessly with just one tap, it's not useful. Let's start with my mind. My mind has its own extension which is available for Chrome, Safari and Firefox. When you download the extension, you will see this little button at the top which you can click to save the page you are currently on. Also, you can right-click something like an image and save that specific item to your mind. This is really smooth and takes just one second. Now, let's see Walling. Like my mind, Walling has its own extension, which is available for Chrome and Firefox, but not Safari. Just like you save items with my mind, you can hit the extension button at the top to save items. But Walling also lets you write a comment if you like. And then you have to hit save again to actually save the item. Which I find a little cumbersome sometimes that I have to click twice to save an item. Or I'm just too lazy. Anyway, the saving process from your computer is very smooth. Now, what about on mobile? My mind has a mobile app which is only available for iOS at the moment. You can use this app to save anything from your mobile by clicking the share to my mind button, which just takes a second. Similarly, Walling has a new mobile app too, but unfortunately it's only available for iOS for now. You can use the share option to save things you like to Walling. So in terms of how easy it is to save items, both apps are great. Now let's move on to the UI and the design. The next round is the user interface. I have to say, both apps have a beautiful design. My mind has a very minimalistic design where you can see the items you saved in one place as cards. And you have a search bar at the top you can use to find specific items. Walling has a slightly more complex structure. First, you have the daily desk, which is similar to what you have in my mind. It's a place you can see things you saved indexed by date. Then you have another mode called wizard, where you can see graphs and tags you made. This graph in particular is really well made. It reminds me of the graph you see in Obsidian. Anyway, then you have the search bar and under that you have a list of walls. Walls are kind of like the balls in Pinterest. You can create a wall for different themes and purposes. Personally, I really like these icons you can choose for your walls. They are simple and they look very nice. Also, you can change the background color of each brick, so you can make your walls as colorful as you want. So in terms of UI, both my mind and Walling have great designs. My mind has more of a minimalistic design and Walling has more customizability. I think this is up to your preference, but if I had to choose, I would say Walling has a better design. The next round is searchability. In my opinion, I think it's very important for this kind of apps to have a good searchability of items you saved. In other words, I think you should be able to find a specific item you're looking for instantly when you need it. For example, you might think, what was that tweet I saved about growth marketing? So you type that in the search bar and there it is. Ideally, you want to be able to find anything quickly like this because this app, your idea storage, is like your personal library. It's a place for you to visit when you need to do some research. How annoying would it be if you go to a library to borrow a book, but then it takes forever to find it? Anyway, let's see the searchability of my mind first. My mind has such an incredible searchability, it makes it super easy to find something you're looking for within a second. For example, if you want to see every tweet you saved, you can type tweet. 
If you want to see the only tweets by David Perel, for example, you can type his name after. Similarly, if you want to see videos of TED Talk, you can type video and TED. You can find anything you saved effortlessly in my mind because this app has an AI that automatically analyzes the content of the items you saved and assign relevant tags. So the moment you save this picture, it will analyze the type of the object and what the picture is about. So you see a bunch of tags are already assigned to this item. The same applies to articles as well. When you save a new article to your mind, it analyzes the content of the article and picks up key phrases, which becomes tags for this item. I just think this feature is mind-blowing. I don't know any other apps that can do the same. Okay, now let's see Walling. Like I showed you earlier, there is a search bar in Walling that you can use to find specific items. But compared to my mind, Walling's searchability is not as good. Let's say I want to see every article I saved in Walling. I can type article, but it doesn't seem to work well. Now, what about tweet? Nope, still nothing. Well, I think this is because Walling doesn't automatically analyze the things you saved and give them tags like my mind does. This means you're gonna have a tough time when you want to find something you saved in Walling. So in order to increase the searchability of items, you have to assign tags to items by yourself manually. In Walling, tags are called nodes and you can assign them from the top left corner of an item. This is something I don't really like because it takes lots of time and mental energy to think about relevant tags for each item and you have to type them. I found this process a bit time consuming and tiring. But if you don't assign tags, you won't be able to use the cool features like Graph or Wizard, which I will talk about just in a minute. Whereas in my mind, it will do this whole process for you automatically, which saves ton of time. So in this round of searchability, my mind wins. Next, I want to look at the versatility of the two apps. First, let's have a look at my mind. As I said before, this app is designed to be minimalistic to reduce distractions, but it can be very flexible. For instance, you can use this app to take a quick memo from your mobile like you do with apps like Google Keep and Draft. Also, you can use it to save inspirations for your work like I do. So it's kind of like an idea bank. And you can use it to collect your favorite videos like funny videos to cheer you up. I think lots of people use this app for many different purposes and it's a surprisingly versatile app. Now, Walling seems to be slightly better when it comes to versatility, just because it has more features such as the ability to create your own walls and customize each brick. This means you can not only save items like you do in my mind, but also you can organize these items for different themes and projects. So let's say I want to make a collection of the office memes and bloopers. I can create a wall and use a wizard function to gather items with the tag, the office. Or if I want to make a collection of interesting products, create a wall and use the tag product to collect them. You can do the same thing in my mind too, but you have to type keywords like the office and products every time you want to see the collections, which can feel a bit time consuming for some people. Whereas in Walling, once you create a wall, it will stay in the sidebar so you can see the collection instantly when you want to see it. Another cool thing you can do in Walling is that you can add text, images, links, files, codes, and so on to a brick. On the other hand, in my mind, you can add text but nothing else. Also, you can use Walling for project planning as well, if you like. For instance, currently I'm working on my room's renovation. So I made a wall for the project which contains sections for desk setup inspirations and room ideas. And then I have a list of tasks at the bottom. You can make something similar very easily. First, you want to go to a website like Pinterest and find inspirations for your project. Save them using the extension, assign relevant tags, then in Walling, create a wall, use the wizard function to gather the items you just saved. I think this looks really cool and I enjoyed building these walls for my project. However, one caveat would be, again, you have to manually assign tags to every item to receive the benefits of these cool features like wizard. Otherwise, you won't be able to find these items when you need them, which for me is the biggest drawback of Walling. 
Anyway, I also want to mention that you can share your walls with other people so you can collaborate with your team or your friends. Whereas in my mind, you can only share a public link to an item which lasts only 24 hours. Alright, so I guess the winner of versatility is walling. Finally, let's have a look at the pricing. My mind offers one pricing option which is available for $119 a year, so that is about $10 a month, but if you're a student, they can give you a student discount. Walling is slightly cheaper than my mind. It's $8 a month if you pay monthly, but it's $5 a month if you pay annually. So in terms of price, walling is a winner. Okay, now looking at the score, Walling seems to be the winner, but I think each tool is incredible and has its own different strengths. And it really depends on your preference which app you might want to use. If you are someone who likes to organize stuff, Walling might be a great option. But if you are a lazy person like myself who can't be bothered to tag every single item you save, then my mind is a better option. Personally though, I think I will stick with my mind for now. I love walling and I really enjoyed using it, but my mind's AI that automatically analyzes the content of things you saved and assign relevant tags is incredibly useful and saves tons of your time and your mental energy, which means you can focus more on meaningful tasks such as writing and uh, building a software or whatever you're doing instead of having to spend your time on entering tags manually which can take time and uh, it's a tedious job. But having said that, I'm really excited to see how these tools are going to develop in the future because these two apps are very new and they are still evolving quickly. Thank you so much for watching till the end. That was my honest review of my mind and walling and I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question or want to have a chat with me, feel free to send me a DM on Twitter. Alright, bye.